The criminology course that we deliver here at Chester is different in terms of our staff are all research active, so they're fully engaged in research, coming in up to date, contemporary issues. A lot of the uh, subjects that we teach on the criminology program, right through from middle you know, levels four, five, and six, they are relevant in terms of the uh, British criminal justice system, but they're also relevant in terms of the global issues that we face today. In the criminology course, we learn about crime and we analyze it from a psychological, social, political, and economical perspective. It's an interdisciplinary field, which means that we learn about various ways to research crime, present crime, um, teach about crime. Students can ask us their questions. We can hear from them. Yeah, they can talk amongst themselves because that's what we encourage. Unlike other universities where lecturers talk at the students, we talk with them. And we bounce off each other and it, and it creates this really good atmosphere of learning. And what that provides us is to get to know the lecture and the content on a deeper level. It's more easy to have discussions, it's more easy to bounce ideas off of each other. It really creates a good environment for learning. I learn by, by discussing and by asking questions, so for me that has been so much better than a lecture just reading off a screen. And the course has provided me with a lot of knowledge on how to make criminology more accessible to people, how to engage people in content, uh, how to create content about things that I actually care about and not just handing in coursework on some random design topic. When you start university here you get um, allocated a PAT, a PAT, Personal Academic Tutor. Guiding you, supporting you, it doesn't have to necessarily be about academia in terms of the studies. If there's any personal issues, accommodation if they're having any problems in that, we can sort of help them and signpost them to the support they need. Be someone that they can come to, not just about academic issues, but maybe sometimes they just want someone to talk to for I mean, on a more personal basis. You can talk to them about anything that might be happening in your life that could affect your studies. Yeah, we're always waiting there, ready to listen to them, no matter what issue it might be. Definitely helped because I'm more comfortable uh, approaching them for questions and career advice. I really like Chester because it's a very compact town, it's very easy to get around. You don't need to travel by public transport, you don't necessarily need a car, you might want a bike, it's not super important. Uh, but when I'm not in lectures, I do love going into town and going to one of the little artisan coffee shops. And bouncing off ideas with each other as well in a non-academic setting is, is quite, it's a quite nice change. It's very easy to get around and it's very easy to do a lot of different things in the same place. There's so many different cafes in Chester and coffee shops and also restaurants that will allow for students to spend as much time as they want. Where criminology is going forward is one very much in terms of it's always development, there's always contemporary issues. Again, like I said, in terms of our teaching, I might be walking in on my way to work, hear something on the radio or in the news, and I'll then apply that to my teaching. So when students are then going to go out in this world of work, there are a multitude of opportunities and we've basically put them in that position to get on the ground with that. And it's also equipped me with the kind of skills that are necessary to be able to look into social structures and how we can change them and how crime occurs, how we respond to crime, how people perceive crime. These have all been very useful in kind of building a picture of what kind of criminological imagination I have around the world. We have a diverse range of aspirations from students right through from as soon as they arrive at level four, uh, right through until they complete their degree at level six. Uh, some students want to go into you know, the police, prison service, probationary services, some are thinking about GCHQ, MI5, MI6 for example. But not just that, we've got students remaining in academia, they want to pursue their masters at level seven, PhD, um, going into police, probation, the prisons, but also in the voluntary community sector as well. It's an absolute array of, in terms of the opportunities that they can enter in terms of their career. The course has also allowed me to uh, grow my interest in academia and figure out what kind of career path I want to take. We also have careers counsellors that are assigned to different departments. So there is a career counsellor assigned to the social and political sciences department who will help you find further careers or further studies that kind of align with whatever course you're doing. 